so i watched the comments in my last video i saw the views on my last video i do appreciate 100 percent for you guys watching uh the last video uh it's actually pretty cool that you guys you know shows your support i actually seen like a couple of comments about other games here and there at least some games recommended to me and that's 100 percent appreciated um i might continue doing this series here and there um but as i said in the comments let me know any games that you feel like is underrated um also i would like to go ahead and state this um with this with this whole series it's not just going to be retro games it's also going to be like modern games right now uh games from like ps3 xbox 360 ps2 nes all, all, all types of games overall so with that as i said you guys can list any type of games that you feel as if it's very underrated even if it's an indie game that's just brand new or something that has been in the game since ps3 whatever works for you i just want to hear your ideas your opinions and something of a game that you guys would recommend for me but with that let's go ahead and get started with the rest of this list for the most underrated games ever so starting off first in the list is this game monsters inc for playstation one um my opinion of this game is that it is a very chill game very um i would say it's like a platformish type game but it also brings the love of like you know pixar movies or disney movies to fans who like even who has enjoyed them ever since they were kids um while playing this game i actually you know experienced like more of the story behind you know um sully's and and mike's journey to be part of the um the screen team which is um you know what they do in the movie uh this shows like the actual prologue before the movie and also shows like little clips of the movie itself um with this game i think it's actually worth playing um i think the gameplay is amazing uh it actually puts you through training on how to do the things that you are meant to do as a monster and that is to be part of the scream team you know scare children and collect their screams and with that it's it brings like amazing gameplay like you know from collect from major collectibles such as coins uh bottles of ooze that help you like get better and better at you know scaring um you know children which is you know a very weird concept but of course with monsters Inc., it makes sense um but with that you know as a game that came out like during a time where disney games were prominent like you know toy story 2 uh bugs life hercules and so much more uh this is one game that i i think if you end up seeing it like in a mom and dad shop um i would definitely go ahead and give it a try now with this game this game is very hard to explain for when i played it um you play as the character with the red hair i believe his name was um was siege or um or sag i think that's how it's pronounced and what he does is you know he's a swordsman and he also does things like summon monsters to help him you know you know through a specific level and also to do things such as you know fight for him now this in my opinion was made by capcom um studio 6 and this was for the playstation 2 and it was also on the microsoft um engine which i i believe it's also was for pc um this was one of the games that came out that I think a lot of people just look past but with the gameplay it was it was very interesting um it kind of gave me a little bit of the devil may cry vibes just without the guns um well technically there is guns but the main character does not use them um the dark eerie story behind it uh the like just like the major um like major story behind it that I think a lot of people look past um i think a lot of people look past like you know the gameplay such as amazing um you know swordsmanship uh things like as uh, like hunting different types of monsters that are trying to like you know kill you summoning different types of monsters to help you fight and as i said with that it's just like it's really hard to like trying to explain this one a little bit more like you really have to grab the gameplay to be able to understand it um i would say you also have to like you know grab the game to understand the story a little bit more um because it talks about like you know 
these guys fighting for some type of independence which i which is like a kind of con concept that i don't understand with this game but with this um otherwise you know gameplay wise it's great it's fluent uh, I believe, in my opinion, I think that this game had, was slept on, that this could have been a series. But then they just come came out with something that was a little bit better, which was Devil May Cry. Uh, this was also during the time where um, I believe they were developing Resident Evil 4. And with the development of Resident Evil 4, boom, uh, it came out with that first version of it, which turned into Devil May Cry. Um, and... Otherwise, for a game in itself, I think it's a pretty decent game. Uh, I don't think it got the rating that it deserved. I think it deserves a higher rating. And I think a lot of people really slept on slept on this game pretty much. So, I think if you're a movie lover, a extreme movie lover, you would understand who this guy is. Um, when I first played this, I didn't know anything of what this guy's shtick was i didn't know what he, what any of it was um it's mostly just like i would say like a lizard trying to save the world from an evil um robot and with that he has many many like i would say like many many movie references um and with and with that i just trying to figure out like like with gameplay wise it is like a platformer it's like an adventure game and a lot of people would like to possibly see like this game come back but the issue with it nowadays is that when you try to get this game to come back even if you do things like a line from a movie or try to reenact like a scene from a movie nowadays copyright hits and that's a major thing of why you know possibly this series did not come back uh, there was a series like within playstation 1 where it was just a regular 2d side scroller then it became a 3d based game which um you know it was on playstation and xbox uh, it was definitely a game that was worth it it was definitely a game that was you know very fun to have as i said if you are a major movie lover if you like like old school movies like some of them like reference like movies like from like like the 70s to like the 90s when this first came out and with that a lot of people didn't realize you know that this was this was like a moviegoers video game this was the moviegoers video game it wasn't just like you know like oh like i hard on playstation or or like things like you know independence day on playstation jesus christ don't go for that game ever independence day never but if you like any movie references or any ideas of like you know specific movie styles then this was the game for you uh, there's even like references into cartoons and you know even things like such impressions like you like if you love people like donna carvey or even much more people who do amazing impressions of characters or movie stars then this is a video game you would like to go ahead and grab like get your hands on it's it's definitely worth it now this is for people who understand this series or who has read this manga um this was a PlayStation 2 game. I think this came out at the beginning for PlayStation 2. Now, for this, if you are a big manga fan or anime fan, and you love like things like ma magic users or any things of like sorcerers, this is the game for you. Uh, this is a very interesting story which talks about time travel. And not just magic, but just time travel. And with that, you know, the gameplay is fun. Uh, the comedic relief is fun. Um, I think it is something that a lot of people just like look past. Uh, I would say that it could get stale and repetitive at times. But the story behind it is very interesting. Uh, the gameplay is very interesting as well. Um, you experience multiple things like multiple characters, multiple character stories, and so on and so forth. Uh, the fact that um, you know, people kind of look past this kind of irks me a little bit because when you actually have things like, um, like you know, like a PS, PS2 classic on a PS4 system or a PS5 system, I think this one should have been a thing. Um, I think a lot of people kind of really slept, very slept during this time because this wasn't a time where anime was prominent as it is now. This was like during the time where like the major anime was 
Dragon Ball Z. And then, like, years, years later on, it became Naruto. And with this, I believe this is one of the old classic animes that a lot of people, you know, look past. Um, if you manage to get your hands on the manga, it's definitely worth reading. It's definitely, um, you know, going through. As I said, what it tells you the whole story behind um, the character who is Orphan. And with that, it's it's just such an amazing story with such amazing com comedic relief. And, you know, with this, um, the gameplay is fluent. It is very, you get to a point where you learn, like, different spells. Like, di like cast different spells. Uh, and you um, have, like, different interactions with other characters. And so on and so forth. It's a very interesting story. Um, once again, as I said, if you get your hands on this, it is definitely worth it. Um, I think this is a gem. I think this is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's, a, it's a weird concept that these people, like, you know, see this and automatically, oh, they're like, oh, you know, this is going to be one of the bad things. This is during the time where, like, people were like, oh, you know, anime is, like, nerdy. Anime is, like, it's, like, not meant for, you know, in things like the straight audience uh but at one point this was a game that i got into and i loved so much and you know having this in my library is it, it, definitely worth it this is one of my favorite games of all time um i am so upset that 2k decided to give up on this game I was really upset that they gave up on this game. I think this game is definitely worth making a sequel for. I think either that or to continue on with its with a live service and free to play, give them a story because this was everything that a game provided. Not just a great multiplayer ex MOBA experience, but you got amazing characters that bring comedic relief like such from things such as borderlands or similar to borderlands also an amazing story dlc stories that actually work out and you get to play up to five people in the dlc or no excuse me three people in the dlc five people in the story mode uh five people pvp 5v5 and a lot of people didn't choose this game because this was during the time when overwatch just first hit which you know Overwatch now has went down on a downward spiral, spiral for me specifically. Uh, this game was definitely worth it. Um, a lot of the characters here were definitely um, worth playing. I think, in my opinion, 2K needs to bring this game back. Because this is the perfect time to bring this game back. Uh, everything that Overwatch 2 now is supposed to have, this game has. Uh, you don't have to go ahead and have them like you know, cancel out things like a story a story mode where these guys brought in a 10 chapter story mode with each level lasting up to 30 probably 45 minutes um even five dlc where you know they're lasting up to 30 45 minutes and you get different interactions every time you replay you play replay the chapters and with each different character and you know which each different experience and you know having fun with your friends to a point where it was so much fun uh now especially where cross play, cross play is prominent this is a game that you should go ahead and get your hands on uh i i really really wish that people would go ahead and bring this back um especially where things like you know overwatch 2 is an absolute waste of time right now um especially from like you know the aspect of pvp pve and like even some of the events is absolute waste of time and you know things like this should have more and more um you know competition this should have been a thing to be overwatch but because of the lack of marketing it didn't work out um and trust me if the servers were up i would constantly be playing this but the servers were not are not up any longer and it's very sad where you know i would like to see these servers up and i get to play the at least the story mode with my friends i would love that to happen but with that we can't manage to do that any um 2k if you're listening please bring a sequel to this or please bring this game back with an enhanced ps5 xbox series x pc uh, probably a nintendo switch version and by all means as i said just 
give us something to return to with this game because this is one of my favorite games and i fell deeply in love with this game i think a lot of people have as well so if you guys haven't by all means in the comment below let me know what is the most underrated game to you uh also go ahead and recommend to me some games to try out i've had a lot of people comment the last video for games to try out and you know i'm trying to look at some of them like i had someone recommend here or um like many other games uh but as i said with this recommend me any type of games whether it is you know from old school games um to like now uh, whether it's games that you feel is underrated and also let me know which game you feel is underrated uh, With that as I said Definitely subscribe to the EHG community If you turn your notifications for when we get new streams and new videos set out Definitely join us on our Facebook group our discord channel Be sure to go ahead and check out our merchandise and to support us on patreon But this is Nico from the EHG community. Stay tuned for another video Remember that there's always something amazing on the horizon Would Cheech and or Chong report to the front desk? Look, I just wanted the gift shop in the bathroom.
song now, a lot of tale later. <laughs> Activated! 